Updated versions of Australia's top-selling sports car, the Ford Mustang, will be available in dealers from the middle of 2018. There are a number of substantial improvements for the MY18 Mustang. Its looks are being billed as more athletic, it comes in more bold colors, gets more in-car technology and active safety systems, and comes with Magnride adaptive dampers for the first time. More importantly, the top-selling V8 engine option has been upgraded, now pumping out 339 kilowatts to the rear wheels. There's also a new 10-speed automatic gearbox option in place of the old 6-speeder. However, this suite of upgrades does come at a price. The RRP of the range is now between $4,000 and $8,793 steeper than before, with the GT Fastback V8 auto volume seller now tipping over the luxury car tax. LCT, threshold. Given sales of sports cars almost always decline as the life cycle shadow lengthens, it seems clear that Ford is skewing the Stang a little upmarket. There's a new 12-inch digital instrument cluster, apparently inspired by the Le Mans winning Ford GT race car, that's somewhat reminiscent of the Volkswagen, Audi, active info display, virtual cockpit setups. You can customize the displays for normal, sport and track modes, that adjust shift points, exhaust noise and so on, and choose settings including the color and gauge layout. A memory function lets you save your favorite drive settings, including suspension and steering preferences. The center console gets a new hand-stitched wrap with contrast stitching and padded knee bolsters while the door handles, rings and bezels are finished in aluminium. Restyled seating surfaces feature new patterns, while there's also six-way leather upholstered Recaro Sport seating as a factory fitted option. All Mustangs feature an instrument panel with an updated Mustang badge, while there's a new key fob design. Potentially addressing the old car's substandard ANCAP crash test score, this MY18 model gets Autonomous Emergency Braking AEB, with pedestrian detection as standard, plus there's adaptive cruise, lane departure warning and lane keeping assist. The updated model has been awarded a 3-star rating by Euro NCAP, but NCAP has yet to reveal if it will issue an updated rating for the Australian model. The familiar Ford Sync 3 onboard software includes Emergency Assist, which automatically calls emergency services for faster response times in the event of a collision and feeds the call center your GPS location. The 8.0-inch center screen remains. You can still buy 2.3-liter turbocharged EcoBoost 4, or 5.0-liter Coyote naturally aspirated V8, engine options. The EcoBoost Turbo appears to produce 9 kilowatts less than before, at 224 kilowatts. However, this is actually just down to a new measuring system being used. The MY17 and MY18 versions produce the same power on a dyno, Ford insists. Torque increases by 9 newton meters to 441 newton meters. As before, a six-speed manual is available on the coupe, while both the coupe and convertible also come with a new 10-speed auto with paddles. Meanwhile, the more popular V8 that accounts for 85% of sales has been thoroughly reworked, says Ford, and offers 33 kilowatts more power and the ability to rev higher than any Mustang GT before. The 339 kilowatts. About 450 bhp in the old money, power ceiling has been achieved in part because of a new injection system, high pressure direct injection, and low pressure port injection. Torque also jumps 26 newton meters to 556 newton meters. The V8's manual gearbox has been totally redesigned according to Ford, with a twin disc clutch and dual mass flywheel. The 10-speed automatic with paddles also features 